going, Sashi. I've never done this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and you choose now to start? Wow, that's brave. I'm impressed. You are fast. <laughs> oh! All right, go slow. Don't spin it again. You're doing good. You're yeah. doing well. Daddy, Daddy five, five minutes. minutes! Five minutes, stop leading! Let's go, wow. stop leading! Heat, sweet, salt, perfect. I'm gonna get an apron today. I'm good. How are you guys? Very good. The first tentative steps into the MasterChef kitchen. Wow. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? This, wow, this spot? it's awesome. It's OK. <laughs> Love this place. Beautiful. That's a nice rendang for you guys. Have you done everything? Have you cooked everything? No, I'm going to cook the roti jala for you guys. Yeah, great. Now? Yeah, come on then. Yep. Crack on. What's your name? I'm Sashi. Sashi? I'm from Adelaide. From Adelaide, yes. yes. OK, I'm what do you uh, do? I'm a prison officer. Okay. So I've been in law enforcement for the last 20 odd years. Okay. So a massive change, prison officer in SA to yeah. wanting to be a master chef. Why, why is that? Cooking is like a, a daily thing for me. I come back from work every day I cook for my kids, for my family. I love Adeline. And when I come into the kitchen at home, I feel that. Love it. Do you want to cut? Yeah, I want to. Might as well. This. I mean, got some great food, or it looks great. Ooh. Yeah, that's very cool. cool. I like, it's like Eggnet, nice. Yeah. Happy? Are you happy with that? Are you happy with that? Oh, this is good. Your little roti mm. jala. I like the way you do that. It's really yeah. nice. Can we yeah. tuck in? Can we, yes, uh... please. Feel. feel good for you right now. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you guys eating my food. Yeah. And uh, I'm loving it. Good on you. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Wow. I think, I think it's safe for me to say that that would be one of the best uh, curries I've ever had in this competition. Thank you so much. And I, and I mean that very genuinely. The complexity, the, the flavour, the strength of some of the individual spices like the lemongrass yeah. and the balance of sweetness yes. in the randang is just absolutely it's wonderful. Also, think, but it's also things like the, the tenderness of the roti jala, oh. the little bit of fat with that beautiful coconut rice and the freshness of that very simple matcha is, is fantastic. It's beautiful and I love it so much. Thank you. Um, I can't stop eating it. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> I'm just going to pop out. I'll be back in a second. You keep chatting. Where has he gone to again? I just uh, he goes on, he goes on, he goes wandering. I know what's happening. So I'm like going to walk away from food. Where is he? Oh, hang on. I can hear him. Mm. Hey, look who I found! <laughs> uh, look who I found! It's actually good. Sasha, so you got a couple of cute kids there, huh? <laughs> We really want to know what's the favourite stuff that your your father cooks. What? That's one of our favourites. Yep. Yeah. Um, what a pasta. Pasta. Mm -hmm. What else? Some peanut ice cream with pomegranate oh, sorbet. Can you say the rest? <laughs> oh, my idea. Dark chocolate mousse, some um, pomegranate like spread, like macadamia crumble, like mascarpone cheese. They're not a foodie oh, family at all, are they? Do you boys come here? Can you do something? For you! Oh, well done, Sashi. Welcome to the competition. Thank you. All right, thank you. Good on you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well done. Yeah. Go and celebrate. What a lovely family. Did it, Dad? All right. <laughs> yes. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, well, thank you. I'm uh, doing a lamb rag Great. and uh, also a beer battered cauliflower. Beer battered cauliflower, so like a beignet. Yeah. Love that idea. Small bits and pieces of beer battered cauliflowers good. everywhere. Good, good, good. I, I need to impress Gordon. Good. <laughs> My beer battered cauliflower is the most important thing in the dish. Can you win this competition? Yes. I think I have the potential. Yeah. I, I can cook well. Good luck. 
Aldo, how are you doing? Hopefully, the cauliflowers are cooked beautifully. It's almost like an Indian pakoda or a small donut. That's going to be my secret weapon today. Uh, I'm making a classic uh, lamb rag and beer battered cauliflower and a reduction of lamb and beer. There's no spices in Gordon's mystery box. It's making my life very difficult. I'm trying to introduce a lot of flavors into my dish without spices. To make the sauce, I put the off cuts of lamb into a small pot to render the fats out of the lamb and add some beer and let them cook together. I am a huge fan of Gordon, so I'm gonna go all out to impress him with my sauce. It needs to be cooked perfectly. Cooking for Gordon Ramsay? Oh my God. <laughs> I still have my goosebumps. <laughs> the ultimate feeling, you know, getting your food tasted by your idol. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> still got pressure. <laughs> I'm nervous. Hope I've done enough to impress Gordon. I've cooked a roast lamb with beer battered cauliflower and a reduction of lamb and beer. A reduction of lamb and beer, I love that. Lamb, beer, mustard. Why not? Good on you. Now. Young man, I'm going to be honest with you. That is worth traveling 17,000 kilometers for, let me tell you. Delicious. Thank you. It's got, it's got heart. The smartness with the beer batter and what you've done with the cauliflower, lamb nailed, sauce with the beer. You know, you've got balls, clearly, <laughs> and you know how to dress food and turn chefs on. You know when you, you know sometimes when you have a spoonful of something, you get that little. <laughs> we think of you being the guy who can do anything with the spice box, but um, you're here. You've got no spice. You've got a limited selection of flavors, and you put up, I think probably the best dish you put up so far in the competition. Thank you, Sashi. How does that feel, man? I'm floating. <laughs> Good on you. We'll float back to your bench, yeah? Well Amazing. done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I have impressed my hero. I'm feeling so proud. Sashi, well done. You've just made cauliflower one of the most sexiest <laughs> vegetables anywhere in Australia. Because right now, every time we see you next, it's the man that launched the cauliflower donut. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Sashi, three mystery boxes, two wins. You know where you go. Up to the gantry and all weight immunity. Off you go. Brilliant. Well done, Sashi. <laughs> I can't believe it. I won the mystery box in God at MGV. How good it is. Hey, turn on the gas, man. No gas, no heat, no heat, no pin, right? Uh, to Sashi, check in with me. Okay, I put the paste in for cooking. The curry paste. paste. Good, work the and talk at the same time, come on. Yeah, okay, the curry paste. Now I'm gonna prepare the... Uh, work and talk at the same time. <laughs> now I'm gonna prepare the other vegetables. I'm gonna add a bit more liquid. And then you got coconut going there as well. Yeah, coconut milk. Don't get it too heavy. Okay. Okay, what's the duck? Duck is what? Duck is fat. Fat, Don't rich, like you, muscly, rich, powerful. Yeah. Broth is... Mmm, nice. Okay. Coconut rich. Don't go rich on rich. Okay. You have an amazing flavour profile. Yes. Rain it in. Start thinking about the presentation. Let's go. Usually, I serve my vegetable and duck in a bowl with curry. But Gordon is right. I need to start thinking about plating it nicely. I can nail it on the points. I've decided to modernise my dish. I'm going to deconstruct the curry. I'm cooking the duck and the vegetables separately. Plating it up, it's gonna be clean, modern, it's gonna look great. I'm gonna cook all the vegetables in duck fat, which I'm gonna render from the duck I'm cooking. Let's hope it works. Give me an S. 
Give me an A. Okay. Give me an L. Give me a T. Season. Season the things. Season in the pan. We can still go in the pan. And then when you do that, in order to render that fat down, look, you lightly score in there. What does that do to the fat? Quicker render the fats out. That's right. So open up the pour. Cross, 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 cross. Come on. You've got this. Let's go. The vegetables and the duck. I'm going to plate them up in a beautiful modern manner. Oh, now too much. Less is more. Less is what? Less is more. Shout it at me. Less is more. Louder. Less is more. I can't hear you. Less is more. Let's go. Start yeah. testing. Let's go. <laughs> Less is more going to be my motto from now on. <laughs> Duck and vegetable. My mother's roast. Totally different dishes, aren't they? Mm. Totally different. One really delicate. And what's what have we got on there? Sunday roast. Sunday roast, yeah. Well, let's do this pretty little dish first, shall yeah. we? Yeah, done. That sauce is really, you know, delicious. My kind of flavours, you know, there's a lot of sourness, I presume from tamarind, and lots of complexity from probably a number of different aromatics but also dry spices. Love the complexity, love the flavour, yeah. but I just want I just want a bowl of, I want that over roast potatoes, that's what I want, and some roast duck and I'll be happy. I think that there's enough vegetables there to make you think there are vegetables yeah. there. And they're beautifully cooked. But I like it when all the vegetables are kind of given a chance to sit in it, simmer in it, you know, let the tomatoes burst. Yeah, it's, it's not connected. Whoever was cooking this was trying to take something traditional and spark it up and put it in a fine dining context. Gavin, that means you get 17 points. Sashi, you've got 20. You've beaten the chef. That means you get a pin! Oh, I'm very happy. Winning an immunity pin on a Gordon Ramsay wig? Oh, my God! Look at this, baby. Oh, thank you. Well deserved. Look at that. Well thank done. You. Well done. <laughs> well done. Oh, I got another eight more to go. I've never cut so many chicken in my life. <laughs> for the main, I'm gonna make a nice South Indian curry for 750 with some rice and raita. It's called Madurai Chicken Curry. It's uh, a district in uh, South India where my grandparents came from. So I'm trying to replicate that dish here. I'm looking at 80 to 100 grams of chicken for each customers. So based on 100 customers, I'm looking to break down at least 10 chickens. If there's 100 people buying from my store, that is enough. Oh, the color looks good. For the main, we are making an Indian curry with some rice and raita. For the dessert, we are doing Indian donuts with cardamom and rose water syrup. Okay, Reese, do you mind holding the wok? less than an hour left. All the spices are in the wok. My chicken is cooking. So, things are looking very comfortable. Where's the rest of your curry, Sashi? This is the curry. Where's the rest of it? That's all. We've got 500 people coming. Uh, I cook 10 kilos of chicken. So, uh, it looks scant. Okay. Matt is worried that I don't have enough chicken. So now I'm thinking, what if the food is not enough? What am I going to do? I hope my match is correct. Come to the masala corner. Let's have some curry tonight. The best chicken curry I've ever tasted. Curry? Thank you. Working with the customers directly today is so much fun. Want a feature? Well, no worries. That one's yours. Beautiful. Come back for second one. <laughs> Maybe third. We're getting a lot of interaction and the customers love Sashi's curry and donuts as well. 
Yourself? One of each. One chicken and one donut? Coming right away. For the donut, we'll be serving that with some Indian flavours with a rose water and cardamom syrup and some pistachios over the top. Two curries? No worries. The food is going like hotcakes. Yeah, you should have two curries. Two curries? The curry is very popular. Everyone is grabbing one plate, two plates of curries. I'm feeling excited, but I'm also seeing the crowd. What if the food is not enough? And one curry for you. Well, here we have the white team, the Bling Boys. <laughs> two lads with immunity pins, Reese and Sashi. Love the look of the curry. These donuts with this rose water syrup, absolutely fantastic. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hello. We have a rubbish job, don't we? <laughs> I'm going back for more if I'm knocking around here. You know, I get one and I go, you know what, I'm going to go and buy another one, because this is delicious. It's mild enough to be a crowd pleaser. I think that is a great dish. I had the chicken curry and it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Lots and lots of flavour, lots of depth, well-rounded. I've also had the Indian donuts, which were just delicious. Donuts, guys? The best one. They're probably the best you'll ever have. Come back for more. Two curries. Two curries? Oh, the curry is flying. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough to last a long queue there. We are only halfway through service. Right. Yeah, thank you. I'm running out of curries very quickly. One chicken curry coming right away. Thank you. This challenge is all about making money, and I'm so worried the other teams are still selling their dishes. Two curries? Matt is right. I should have made more curry. Sorry, guys, we have run out of uh, chicken curry. I need to think of something else to sell to get as many customers as possible until the last second. Oh, me and Reese, we are in danger. It's just under now and we've already run out of the curry. I'm literally heartbroken because that's not a lot of time at all. So we need to start to think on our feet a bit and think of what we can do to get a bit more money coming in. Yes, yes, actually. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of time. So since there's a lot of customers, we're going to cook up some banana fritters with the rose water syrup. We have decided to sell banana fritters for $5. Have some banana fritters, hot and crispy. We've just done a last minute batch of banana fritters and they seem pretty good, so I'm really happy with them. Both those are yours. We probably should have started with fritters today. <laughs> the second team going into the immunity challenge made a total of $1,370. And that team was the white team. <laughs> Me and Riz, we rock. I can't believe that we sold so much. Oh, how about that? The Bling Boys have got a second chance for another immunity pin. Nice work, lads. Pop over with Khan. <laughs> Sashi and I are heading straight to that immunity challenge and we probably both want it more than each other, that second immunity pin, and I know we're gonna fight really hard for it. <laughs> I am really nervous. I know Khan has done a lot of salted caramel dishes before. I don't even have a recipe. I'm freaking out. Okay, Khan, Sashi, just remember here, the caramel is very, very important and obviously the salt is. Good luck. Your 10 minutes starts now. It's a very hard last round. I desperately want another pin. I'm not going to lose focus. I am determined. I'm going to go for it. Sashi? Yes? Ever made uh, salted caramel sauce before? I've done a few times, but not um, this version. I've done with palm sugar and uh, coconut cream. Never made it with conventional sugar? No. So, first time I'm trying. Okay. Will that work? Uh, well, hopefully. If you want this pin, first contestant in history in history. I'm trying as much as possible. Two pins. There's never been a two pin before. I need to give all I've got. See, that's a nice consistency. I mean, that.
So the winner of my apprentice skills test and going through to round two is Sashi. Oh my god. <laughs> Great effort. Great effort. Well done. Well done. Well done. I'm feeling very excited. At the same time, nervous. I'm going to be cooking against a professional chef. I hope that I can get a second pin has never been done before. I might be able to nail it. I'm frying the Brussels sprout and broccoli. Smelling incredible. They look so just keep it up. They're looking good. It's all coming together. Lamb. Pea puree, curry sauce. How's your sauce? Your sauce is ready to go? Yep. Great. Got your yogurt? Yogurt is in the fridge. I need to go as quickly as possible. You pull the next 14 minutes off, you deserve it. This second pin means everything to me. I am determined to make MasterChef history. Come on, Sash. The lamb is in the oven. I take it out. Go, Sashi. Rack of lamb is a very beautiful, but at the same time, very delicate. For my boys at home, they don't like the lamb to be overcooked and they don't like the lamb to have too much of blood or undercooked. They are very choosy about the lamb. So getting the right temperature is very important. I checked the thermometer. It is bang on. Yeah, good stuff, mate. Good stuff. So five minutes before, I'll just cut them. Oh yeah, even less, even less, you know. I'm going to leave it to rest at least before I cut them. Nice work. Good job, good job. Plating is not my big strength. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to highlight the main two elements. I'm putting the pea puree on the bottom with a big chunk of lamb rack on the center. It's going to be clean, beautiful. Looks beautiful. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Like an old fall down, yeah. Bit more, bit more. I'm almost there. Almost there, almost there. Drizzle the yogurt dressing on the side. Beautiful colors, Sashi. And put the crunchy vegetables. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step away. Lamb and pea puree. What do you think, boys? I'm drawn to a few things that are making me salivate at the moment. You know, the, those little fried bits of, uh, it looks like um, Brussels sprouts, roasted uh, broccoli. It smells um, good, doesn't it? It smells good. And look, certainly the, the side of the lamb that we can see is, that looks pretty darn perfect. Yeah, yeah. and nicely caramelised. Look at the, look at the caramelisation yeah. on that lamb. Look at That's that. beautifully cooked. Really nicely cooked. That is rock and roll, that is. That classic rosé, is mm. Beautiful. That looks very good. Mm. Look at that. Mm. There's a really good contrast. Mm. There's a bit of heat in there. Mm. Wow, that is cracking because looks very classic and very straightforward on the plate, but then when you eat it, it's a riot of flavours in your mouth. But for me, it's the, the technical stuff that I look at, the, the cooking of that lamb, beautiful. The complexity and flavour and shine of that sauce, beautiful. The creaminess of the cooling yogurt. Could it be presented better? Yes, no doubt about it. But, you know, we're, we're in the business of flavour here and that is jam-packed flavour business on a plate. <laughs> Look, the only disadvantage for me, honestly, is just the presentation. Very tasty, I'm salivating, I'm trying to, you know, get all that sauce up off the plate. Delicious. Oh, it's delicious. delicious. In terms of deliciousness, that's a A plus. It's a, a beautiful dish. Let's do it. Sashi, your lamb was perfect. Nine out of ten. I love the way the pea puree in the yogurt gave some cooling to a hot sauce. A delicious sauce. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Sashi! <laughs> 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 
master chef history. <laughs> You've won a second thing. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> My dish, classic fish and chips. I love fish and chips. Fish and chips. <laughs> I've also had TV dinners before. As a police officer in Singapore, doing night shifts, I do get TV dinners. When I was working in the police force, this is what we get. <laughs> and lucky little you. <laughs> little foil tray. Foil tray of food. So this challenge is going to be a familiar ground for me. I'm doing pistachio crumb snapper, which I'm gonna just lightly pan sear, then put them in the oven to cook through, and some fondant potatoes, which I'm gonna prepare a piece of the chips. Potato fondant take long to cook. First, I brown them in the pan with butter and thyme. Flavors, flavors, flavors. Add a bit of chicken stock so that the flavors can be infused and bake them in the oven for 45 minutes. Me and Khan are going against each other. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a real cook-off today. I'm a very competitive person. I like this kind of competition. Cooking against someone, one-on-one -on -one kind of a thing. It actually puts me in my game. Fish and chips is Classic for me. I will go to a fish and chip shop. I always like to have lots of tartar sauce. I love my tartar sauce with fish and chips. So I'm making something similar. My dill and caper sauce. Dill, capers, sour cream, lemon zest, and a little bit of salt. The dill and caper sauce is ready. So I'm starting with my pistachio crumb for the fish. I roast the pistachios. I add some panko crumb, thyme, butter, and I also use the long Javanese pepper because of the nice flavor, spice aroma. I'm gonna make sure there's gonna be flavors, flavors, flavors in my cooking. Nice. This is the only way to beat Khan today. Flavors, flavors, flavors. Sashi, let's taste your version of fish and chips. <laughs> Made a pistachio crust snapper with fondant potatoes, crispy potatoes, and I also have a dill and caper sauce which replicates something like a tata sauce. You talked about uh, TV dinners. When was that? Back in Singapore? In the... <laughs> yeah, police force. And what was that? Uh, we will get sometimes fish and chips, sometimes we will get some uh, rice with curry. So okay. it can be anything. Were there any good ones? Uh, the vegetable curry was not bad. <laughs> I can not remember. <laughs> but not fish and chips. <laughs> not fish and chips. I don't know what's happened this week. Because your, your cooking was always good, but it's just gone to another level again. I love this, different to Khan's, but what's the same is the fish is cooked perfectly. Love that crunchy crust of pistachios. I mean, that is a plate full of flavour. Much more familiar in terms of territory and I think probably closer in, in terms of taste to what we identify as fish and chips. So loads of crunch from the crispy potatoes. The Dylan Caper sauce does remind you of tartare and I think that's really clever. I agree with Matt. I think what you've done cleverly is bought us a version of very easily identifiable yes. fish and chips. So it's going to be very, very hard to split you and Khan. Sashi, here's some facts for you. You've won two immunity pens. Yes. You haven't cooked in a pressure test or in an elimination yet. Yes. You've had your food tasted more than any other contestant. Oh, OK. Pretty spectacular so far. Marking yourself down as the man to beat. I'm pretty shocked, actually. Are you going to add the superpower to your tally of successes? I just come every day and I do my best in every cook. So I'll try my best to win the superpower. I'll go all out for it. Any kind of advantage is useful. And being the 10th year superpower, I'm very sure this is going to be massive. Who knows, it might even help me to win MasterChef this year. Remember, you can now use both pantries, but you've only got 60 minutes. What can I do with canned food and dairy? I have very limited options, but time is also a big factor. I see canned lychees and canned pineapples. Click on my mind, I'm going for a tropical dessert as my dish today. Oh, oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's 
Sashi. Sashi. Oh. Quick, quick, quick. Ooh. I'm looking at making a coconut ice cream with some pineapple and a lychee shortbread. Ice cream machine. I know coconut ice cream needs at least 40 to 45 minutes to churn. So, first thing, I start doing the on glaze. Sashi's doing ice cream. Yeah. It's not my favorite to do dessert, but when things happen, you have to be ready for anything. So far in this competition, I've done two desserts on my own. They are not my best dishes. Now for me, the mousse could have been just a touch lighter. So today, I'm taking a big risk making a dessert. Hopefully, it pays off. Ice cream needs to be on Tashi, so quick. I'm making a coconut ice cream with lychee shortbread. As I'm mixing the on glaze for the coconut ice cream, there's a lot of foam on the top. I can't really see whether the custard is thickening up. I don't really use temperature. I go by touch and feel. I think this ice cream's cold. Is it? I can see lumps forming. This is not good. It start to cut up. No. I need to save it. I get a strainer. Come on, come on, come on. But it's too late. For my tropical dessert, I have no time to start again to do ice cream. I have very limited options with the first food pantries, canned food and dairies. I got no clue what I'm doing. I'm in trouble. Come on, mate. Keep working. What about changing it up, changing the whole recipe up? I only have about 45 minutes to come up with a dish. A flavour switch. I swapped the lychee and the coconut. Come on, Sashi, just move. You can do it. Come on, mate. Come on. So now, I'm making a lychee sorbet and a coconut shortbread. 45 minutes. Yeah, we just need the blender. Rock and roll, brother. Rock and roll. Good thing about canned lychee is it has all the flavours inside. It has glucose. It has syrup. What I need to do is put it in a blender, bleach them up into a smooth puree, and let it churn for at least half an hour to 40 minutes. As I'm working, I will come with more ideas to finish up the dish. Come on, Sash, she can do it. Sash has changed it up and gone for a lychee sorbet, which I think is really smart. He's going to put coconut into his shortbread. Hey, rush, 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 rush. I've never actually seen Sashi this frantic before. Usually he's really calm and cool and collected, very military. But um, he's cracked out the old canned pineapple, which I love. I'm starting to think of other elements to add on the dish. I'm thinking grilled pineapple with the custard in the center. I start the custard, cook it down and add some crushed pineapple. I made it into a pineapple custard. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to keep it as tropical as possible. Yeah. I have a dish in mind, but I need time to do a lot of prep. I got custard going on, pineapple going on, sorbet, shortbread. Is that enough? Are you happy with all of that? I'm still it going sounds on. really good. Yeah. Today was a bit of a tough one. I lost control in the beginning stage. I managed to pull myself back. I'm relieved that I managed to put up a decent dish. Hopefully, I've done enough to go to tomorrow's final cook for the superpower. Sashi, what is the dish? I've made a lychee sorbet with caramelized pineapple, pineapple custard, and some coconut shortbread. You've had an amazing record in this kitchen, more dishes taste than everyone else, and two immunity pins. How many desserts have you made in that time? This is my third dessert. Wow. If you make it through this week, that might be something you want to think about addressing. We designed these challenges to find the chinks in your armor. So be careful. Coconut biscuit? Yes, yeah. mm. that's awesome. Oh, nice. I think if you're going to use anything that's, you know, tinned, fruits are a good way to go, particularly lychees. So I think you've been quite clever. All the flavours work very well together, and I think the sorbet, it's quite good. Sashi, you know, you took a risk jumping the gun and going for it with those first two pantries of dairy and can, but there's a food cost there of a couple of bucks, and you can make something 
really tasty. I love that shortbread biscuit. Well done, I have to commend you. You've, you've got flavour, you've got texture, you've got great colour on the caramel, great saltiness in that coconut biscuit, beautiful colour on the pineapple, the custard kind of adds a creamy element which is great against the ice. Necessity is the mother of invention and this is a very inventive dish. You've MacGyvered your way out of a tight <laughs> corner here and that's impressive. Well done, Sasha. I've always been good in savoury, but now I feel confident in doing desserts in this competition. Lemongrass. Hands up, who picked that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice choice. It's always been our pantry staple, so I think if I give that to him, he'll be able to give a good one with that, don't you? Yeah, I can do something with that, for sure. Having my wife here is both nervous. At the same time, I'm also very happy to see her. It's going to be a both encouragement and nerve. She's my best friend, so it feels like... Uh, I don't know, I can't really express that feeling, but it, was, it, it feels so good. Maybe, what are you cooking? I'm making a pasta with duck jus and uh, pencil duck. I'm trying a bit of fusion today. I'm going to try to infuse uh, Asian flavours, into continental, French, Italian kind of cooking. Um, hopefully I'm making the right choice. From my mystery box, I'm using lemongrass, chili, coriander and duck. My wife had picked lemongrass. It's a must to use. The lemongrass is gonna give a nice aromatic flavor to the dish. The lemongrass is definitely going into the jus, so I'm gonna give some uh, acidity and spiciness to the jus. For so long, yes. you had that big pin <laughs> on your uh, apron and it gave you the confidence, you know, to carry you through a lot of the challenges in this competition. Yes. You don't have it anymore. My wife is my lucky charm. That's like an immunity pin. It's almost as good. <laughs> and uh, she gave you lemongrass. You've got to be happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with the lemongrass and uh, also happy with the chilli and coriander that comes along with others. So I'm making a dark uh, jus with pensier dark and fettuccine to go with it. Huh. Sorry? Fettuccine and lemongrass? Hey! If I was Italian, I'd be turning just, in my grave. You know what it right is? Now. I look at that, 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 and that, yep. and I go, that's Sashi. This is Sashi. Okay. Gary and George, they are not buying the idea of me infusing Asian flavors into a continental dish. There's a lot of steak. My wife is here. We need to make her proud. I need to revisit my whole idea of the dish. Pretty much, I'm using all the Asian ingredients, so I'm going to go with my strength. I'm changing this to a duck noodle with duck sauce. Change my pasta dish to a noodle dish. I'm making aromatic blend to go on top of my duck and I'm also gonna knead my dough further to have a noodle kind of stretchiness. I really need to focus to get it done. I'm very happy with what I've made. Flavors has come in very well. I just hope that my choice of changing it from a continental dish to an Asian dish was the right decision. What's your dish? Um, I've made um, a duck noodle with broth. A little different From what I started, yes. I start with a pasta, a bit more like a French kind of a dish. With a <laughs> but uh, as I was cooking, I went back to my strength. Uh, good. I'm good with Asian food and uh, Indian. Certainly when you look at it in the bowl, that description makes a lot more sense. The sauce? It's a reduction of uh, duck and a bit of uh, lemongrass and chilli. And a little bit of butter to just bring them all together. Yeah, we, we don't mind that. It looks to be cooked really beautifully, and the noodle's nice and fine. Did you put little pieces of... Um... Yes, roasted duck pieces. That's a good idea. Keep some for me. It is absolutely spot on, I love it the chilli, the lemongrass, the coriander, and butter in a sauce. <laughs> it's, it's delicious. Um, and the noodles, a lovely texture. They've got a beautiful spring to it. And of course, the duck's cooked perfectly. Thank you. 
his skills have grown so much, haven't they? Amazing job, Sashi. Well done. Yeah, I love that liquid velvet you poured over the broth, which has got a real intensity and it's a really delicious dish. And even more importantly, it's a really good example of how you always put your own stamp on dishes you do. And that's having your own voice, Sashi. That's why you're here. And your voice is very loud and very melodic in this one. Well done. <laughs> you. You <want> some? <laughs> so I just love my dish. I'm very happy. I'm sure I've made my wife very proud. It's Sashi. <laughs> Sashi? Yes? Are you going to be ready? Yes, I'll be ready. Excellent, brother. The ice cream is looking good. Uh, nice texture. I have a taste of the ice cream. It tastes amazing. Uh, the cinnamon flavour is there, not overpowering. Uh, but that is what I want. I'm very sure it's going to work very well with the apple stew. I hope that I'm in the right track. Need me to taste anything? You can try the apple. It's ready. Beautiful. Lovely. So ice cream on top of that? Yes. Then goes the twill and the fresh apple. Right. All right, let's go, Sashi. Hurry up. Come on. Service has started. Go, 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 go. I've definitely hero the apple in a lot of ways in the dish. I have apple stew to give a rich, soft taste. At the same time, I'm having some fresh apples to give a very refreshing flavour. And I also have an apple puree twill to give the crunch. Come on, let's go, Sashi. Yes, George. The dish looks beautiful, actually. Beautiful. I love it. George and myself, both of us are very happy with the dish. Great. Service, please. Hopefully, I've done enough to win today. Very good, thank you. Oh, well, that looks all right. Oh, it? cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, Sashi doing dessert, and he's got Pink Lady Apple and yep. cinnamon apple ice cream, some lovely fresh apple on the top. I think that's beautiful. I think it's beautiful too. I think really it's really lovely. beautiful. I mean, there's a simplicity in that uh, that's really appealing. Right, taste test. Ooh, it's quite nice. I like it. I like it a lot too. <laughs> it is all the joy of an American apple pie yeah, in a lovely, neat, bright, summery version. Mm. I love the way the apple is two radically different fruits on that plate. One cooked down and buttery and dark, yeah. caramelised, and the other one just beautifully fresh, crisp, wonderfully cut. And I think what's really clever is that, is that that ice cream provides the bridge. It's light and bright, but the cinnamon pulls it back into line with those kind of wintry flavours of the stewed yeah. apple underneath. Understated, clever, um, delicious. Yeah, and just thoroughly modern, just in terms of how it's been presented. Really good. Sashi, how many have you done? I've got, I put out 20 plates. Right, service, service, please. Sashi, you bought us all the flavours and textures of a great American apple pie. And we love the power of the cinnamon. We also love the creaminess of the ice cream. <laughs> it's a dish that we'd order again and again. And that's why, Sashi, <laughs> you are the first person through <laughs> to finals week. <laughs> <laughs> well done! This is the best moment in the whole MasterChef journey. The probabilities are so low, one out of six, and winning, I'm having goosebumps now. Oh, Why has your voice gone up like 12 octaves? <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> it was, honestly, absolutely delicious. Brilliant job. Well done, Sashi. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Sashi. Yeah, man? Are you sure you don't want to put any chocolate in that? <laughs> I'm putting a lot of chocolate in this today. <laughs> hips and hips. Rasam is a very traditional South Indian dish, but I'm trying to put my spin by making it a bit refined. Grilled fennel and fish 
I think will go very well together. And I'm adding some cherry tomatoes to the rasa so that it gives an additional freshness to the dish. Now I start to season my fish and put it in the pan to cook. I need to keep an eye on the fish. That fish is the hero of the dish. It needs to be cooked perfectly. Hopefully, when I assemble the whole dish, it comes out well. The bara looks very good. I am happy with the way it's cooked. Maybe not. I'm not convinced that the fish is cooked 100%. So I put it back in the pan for 45 seconds, and now I'm convinced it's cooked perfectly. I need to start plating up. I strain the rasam broth into a jug. I put a baramandi on the center, two grilled fennels over and around the fish, slice up one cherry tomato, two halves around the fish. Hopefully, my flavors be good enough for the judges. I'm proud of what I've done today. It looks exactly what I've pictured in my mind. Hopefully, it has a very good balance of flavors and textures. What's the dish? Pan fried baramandi with grilled fennel and rasam. And I also have some crispy skin baramandi. And the summery elements? Summer, it reminds me of Singapore. Very hot. Rasam is part of our daily diet. Beautiful, love it. Get up here and sauce, let's taste. What do you reckon? It smells wonderful. Yeah. Cooked beautifully, Sashi. Really beautifully. Well done. Wow, that, that's nicely cooked. Look yeah, at that. It's gorgeous. It's pretty special. It's a beautiful dish. Fish cooked really well. Love that crispy, sort of salty skin. That broth is yum. Oh, thank you. This is a summer dish. Makes me happy. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. I love it. I love it. I mean, I know what the traditional dish is, but I like it in your version. I like the fennel, I like the tomatoes. It's delicious. I like the crispy skin. I like the fact that that gorgeous sauce is championing that piece of barramundi. It's lovely. Yeah, what I love is you've taken a classic Mediterranean summer dish of fish, grilled fennel, tomatoes, textbook flavours of the south of France, and you've combined it with this lovely South Indian rasam. And the clever part of it is adding those peeled tomatoes and grilled fennel, because they add some more freshness, and pull down the heat and the intensity of the rasam. So, it's actually it's really good. It's <laughs> As you were saying it, I'm going, oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Delicious. <laughs> well done, Sashi. Great job. Autumn is a very beautiful time in Adelaide. I love going to the park with my family, and I really miss cooking for them during autumn. For my autumn dish, I'm inspired by the trees and the colours during autumn. Vegetables like cauliflower and carrots are in season. So I'm making an autumn-inspired dish with my own spin on it. Garam masala. Come on, Sashi. Come on, come on, come on. I'm making a spiced lamb with yogurt, some cauliflower puree and grilled carrots. The lamb is going to be in sous vide for 30 minutes and I'm making a masala mix to go with it. The curry is going to add some flavours to the dish but it's not going to be as spicy as the summer dish. Hopefully it's nice and warm, but it's also going to be light for autumn. Ben is an amazing cook. He has came up with amazing dishes previously, so I'm sure he's going to smash it out again today. My carrot is ready. I drizzle a bit of honey. Cumin, honey and carrot, a classic combination. The curry sauce needs to have a good balance. Once I'm happy, I strain the sauce. I'm ready for service. Now my lamb has rested. It needs to be medium rare. You get a carve. Now watch. Yep, very happy with that. 
Are you happy with your cauliflower? Yeah, I can smell the nice smokiness coming from the cauliflower. It reminds me of autumn. I think I've hit the brief. I'm ready for plate up. Sashi, what have you cooked? I've tubed lamb with smoked cauliflower and grilled carrots with some curry sauce. Why is this autumn? When I think about autumn, I'm looking at root vegetables like carrots, the smokiness in the cauliflower puree. That reminds me of autumn. Yeah, I think it looks great, doesn't it? That lamb's cooked beautifully. Well done. Thank Let's you. taste. Did you get enough in that fork? <laughs> You're enthusiastic. It's good to be enthusiastic about your food. Mm. I, I, I'm confused. Mm. I am <laughs> confused. <laughs> I don't know. I stand here going, I love that, I love that. Protein, protein, amazing. Puree, puree, amazing. Sauce, sauce, amazing. Guys, I don't know, it's, it's tastiness. It's everything that we wish and hope for on every single day. That masala, that sauce, is just absolutely yum. And I love the fact that both of these dishes are from entirely different cooks. I mean, you, you two cook completely differently. You know, they're chalk and cheese. But they're both fantastic. Great dish, Sashi. Well done. Thank you, guys. Ben's tasting, he had good compliments. And I have amazing remarks from the curry sauce to the lamb. Well done, mate. Got to make it hard for him. Hopefully, I can win this advantage. I'm starting with my dessert first. Um, I'm prepping the pineapple uh, puree first for the pineapple tart, because that takes a, a long time to cook down. For dessert, I'm making Malaysian pineapple tart, lime ice cream, and peanut praline crumbs. It's one of my favorite tarts. That's really all gonna make me very hungry. Yeah. This is a dish I ate uh, while I was a kid at home, and it's my favorite. My mom does this every time at home for us. So this is something that is close to my heart, and hopefully I make my mom proud today, because this is her recipe. If anything goes wrong, I might get a smack on the head. Smells great. Peanut, pineapple, lime. Classic combination. And I'm finishing it up with some salted chili caramel. It's a burst of flavors in that dessert. Four hours, it goes very fast. There's so many elements in my dish. I'm getting past contestants as the diners. It's going to be tough. The past MasterChef contestants, they know a lot about food and uh, it's pretty stressful. The pandan smells amazing. All my dessert elements have not been completed yet, but I have to move on to my main. I'm starting with the curry paste for the chicken lemak. I'm cooking chicken lemak with jasmine rice wrapped in bitter leaf. So uh, I'm putting some ginger, garlic, turmeric and chilli on it. Blitz them up together. Smells amazing, Sashi. Cook it down. Oh my gosh, yes, Sashi. Yum. Oh, smell that. Yeah. Smells amazing. Exactly to my mom's recipe. These are the ingredients that she used. I'm using the same ingredient. It smells amazing. It's a dangerous thing. The chicken lemang is my mom's recipe. It brings me back home with a lot of memories. Oh my god, that curry is making me salivate. So I'm following it exactly how she cooks at home. I'm not going to make any changes rather than plating. How's the taste? Is it a good kick, Sash? Yeah, now I need to cut the chicken. While my lemak paste is cooking down, I'm moving on to debone my chicken. I need to uh, remove the bones. For today's service, I'll be serving the diners either one drumstick or thigh. So I need to debone at least six chicken in order to get enough for the diners. Let's go, Sashi. Keep pushing. It's very time consuming. That's beautiful. Love the look of that. Look at the colour. Chicken lemak, so chicken cooked with coconut milk, lots of turmeric, obviously, and then the jasmine rice inside the beetle leaf. Let's hope it delivers in terms of flavour.
I love it. I think it's delicious. I think, you know, what I love about it most is a very subtle spicy. I love the sourness. This, this trail of sourness through the whole dish, which is beautiful. I think the, the sauce is delicious. It's, it's creamy, the mustard seeds, the curry leaf. I love everything about this dish, apart from the chicken. I love the flavor of the chicken, yeah. but I just think when you're doing an event like this, you could finesse it by using a beautifully roasted bit of bird. A little bit too much like home style for me, but that's the only yeah. criticism I've got. What I've got is this incredibly delicious sauce. I love the mustard seeds in there. They are yum. Yeah. I love the way he's, I thought it was going to be a cup of rice on there. Well, it's not. Sophisticated in the beetle leaf, yeah. beautifully presented. And then it's just let down by the chicken. So please. please. I love the chicken dish. It was full of flavour. It was a really great job, I think. I'd happily have that any night of the week. That was great. I need to start assembling my desserts. Come on, Rashi, you can do this. The pineapple tart has came out amazingly. It's as good as what I have it at home. A lot of crumb and the lime ice cream, smooth, beautiful thyme flowers for the colour and a drizzle of chilli salted caramel. I'm very happy with the dish. Service please. I want the judges to feel very homely with the pineapple tart. What I want to give them, my home in a plate. Oh wow. Well, hey. This is um, Sashi's Malaysian pineapple tart with lime ice cream and a peanut praline crumb. I love the caramel colour. I love the ice cream. I love the little addition of the crumb and the and the flowers. This is a very comforting, very comfortable, very tasty, very delicious dish. Oh, I love that texture. It's yum. The appearance, I look at it and go, oh yeah, that looks yum and golden and delicious and good, beautiful caramel sauce. Just settle in and enjoy yourself because it is so enjoyable. That lime ice cream is so refreshing. The pineapple jam is great. It's, it's super pineapple here. And the, the peanut praline really adds a lovely extra flavour. We had a Malaysian style pineapple tart. It had bags of flavour and the pastry was fantastic. This will put a smile back on your face, hopefully. Try this. You want me to feed you then? I thought you want to feed me. See? Works over. OK, hurry, hurry. Come on. Looking good, Sashi. Most delicious, Dad. Thanks, boy. The support I'm getting from my family in the gantry is pushing me very hard. I'm going to put in all my heart and soul. I'm going to make sure the food is full of flavour. Let's go, Sashi. Eat on this. Dad, what are you doing now? Making the curry for the fish. Is that for the starter? No, for the main. Main. My plan for today is to cook both the dishes at the same time. For my main, the hero ingredient is the snapper. So I'm making fish curry with cumin rice. I'm going to start my curry base and my sambal at the same time. Both of them need time to cook. He can multitask. There's a lot of things happening at the same time but I want to make sure the dish is packed full with flavours. Hey, hey, hey! Yes, yes, yes! I would love to send my starter out right now, but sambal paste needs time to cook down. Oh my God, that smells so good. It's lucky that I've also started the curry paste for the main, so that now I'm able to concentrate on the other elements. I need to cook the prawns now. Dad, what are you doing? Making them into nice shapes like that. Never seen that before. Wow. A little bit fancy. Oh, so, sad. so fancy. I'm very happy with the flavours I've been putting in. I'm going back to my roots. I'm making sure the judges are tasting what is sashi made of. I can't believe Ben has already stand out as starter and I got so much of things to do. Sashi, we're sitting on half an hour to go, OK? Yep. It looks beautiful, Sashi. Go, Sashi. Let's go, Sashi. This is one of the biggest stress I've felt in the whole competition. Come on, Sashi. 
get the dishes up. If I can't put up this starter as soon as possible, this whole challenge is going to be gone. I will not have enough time to finish my main. I will not be able to win the Master Chef. Come on, baby. Come on, Dad! It needs to be perfect. You can do this, Sashi. You can do this, Dad! Come on, Dad! I'm running behind, but my prawns are looking great. Go, Sashi. Let's go, Sashi. To plate up my starter, I'm putting two pieces of prawn sambal with a handful of herb salad and two prawn head and garnishing it with a little bit of chilli on top. It looks beautiful, Sashi. It smells amazing. Come on, Sashi! It's a simple dish, but it's going to be full of flavours. Service, please. Let's go, Sashi. Come on, Sashi. Oh, smells good. Yeah. So, Sashi, don't want to hold you up. What's the dish? Sambal prawn with crispy prawn head and some herb salad to go with it. Brilliant stuff. Come on, get back in the kitchen. Thank you. Main course. <laughs> come on, Sashi. 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 My starters are out, but I'm feeling the stress. This is a mega round. 60 points is for grab. I only have 25 minutes left to serve my main. They are both doing fish. Mm. Wow! Look at that. It looks amazing and smells beautiful. Yeah. 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 I don't want to talk, I just want to eat. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Finger looking good, that is. That is just absolutely fantastic. I love the complexity of that Sambo. And these crunchy heads, just the way he's peeled them, you see that little extra bit of flesh that's on the top of there? Mm. It's just gorgeous. Chili's the hero. Can you tell from the top of my head <laughs> if Chili's the hero? <laughs> that is just delicious. And for me, putting flavour aside, those prawns are cooked beautifully. He has nailed it. This is Sashi's cooking at its best, isn't it? You know, it's, it's all about flavour. It's all about that, that amazing balance of the freshness of the herbs against the, the heat of the chilli, both the cooked chilli and then that raw bird's eye on top. That's a smashing starter from Sashi. Wonderful cooking. Dad, you're doing fine! Keep it off! For my main, the hero ingredient is the snapper. My rice is cooking, my fish curry, the paste is cooking down. I need to start on with my fish ASAP. No bone sash. That feel looks good, Sashi. Thanks for that. If I am known as the flavor king, then Ben is the seafood king. Ben cooks amazing fish. So I need to make sure my fish is cooked perfectly. I take one piece of the fish to check whether it's ready. I can see it's slightly raw in the middle. I'm putting it back inside for another two more minutes. The fish is the hero of the dish. It needs to be cooked perfectly. You all right? Yeah. Sashi's wife, Rebecca, I don't think she can watch. She's just pacing up and down the gantry, the poor thing. You've got to get it on the plate. You've just got one minute left! I'm feeling so stressed at this point of time, but I got my support from the gantry. Hustle, hustle, come on! I feel so good that they are proud of me. Come on, baby. How far I've come in this competition. 10 seconds!
Sashi, what have you cooked? I've made fish curry with cumin rice. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, I like the consistency on the sauce. So bad. This dish is a, an absolute ripper. Fish, beautifully cooked, robust enough to stand up to that wonderful texture and that deep, complex level of spicing in that curry sauce. It certainly builds. So, you know, you're picking up cumin and coriander and then you, the chilli's just starting to heat up. Now I've finished it, it's still burning and I'm still salivating. But I think it, the fish is cooked beautifully. I love the little achar pickles on the top and the sweetness of the pineapple. Oh, I love the rice, I love the sauce. I want more pickles. I have never dreamed in my life that I'll be cooking a Heston's dish. This counting sheep dish is on the menu at the Fat Duck. It's a three-star Michelin restaurant. If I want to beat Ben today, I need to make sure all my elements are spot on without any mistake. I'm very happy with the mousse. Pipe in the mousse into the mold. Shake all the air bubbles out. And it goes into the blood chiller till I need it. Ben's putting his frozen inserts into his mousse domes and they look amazing. But Sashi hasn't done that. Has Sashi done this one? I think so. I haven't seen Sashi do yet. Someone's doing something wrong and I don't know who. Remember what's at stake here. Quarter million dollars and the title of the next Australian MasterChef. What a to go! Smells good, Sashi. Look like baby mushrooms. Took out the sponge from the oven. It looks beautiful. So I need to let it cool down. So hopefully I'm on track. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go down there, take one, come back. No one will know. So what's, what's next on the agenda? It's the mousse. It's already setting in the blood chiller. Right. Then I need to scoop out, put all the things inside. It's oh, so your little inserts it's with the third of each? Yeah, all that is done already. Right. But I need to um, assemble them. So if your mousse is frozen, how are you going to get the inserts in? Insert layer frozen. I go back to the recipe. I read again and again a few times. That's when I realise. I made a big mistake. I should have put the inserts into the mousse before it goes into the blast chiller. Now my mousse is rock solid. I'm in trouble. I tried my best not to make mistakes, but somehow it happened. A lot of things are going through my mind, and I start to panic. <laughs> Calm down, eh? relax, okay? Yeah. You're doing fine, Dad. My family is amazing. As much as I'm there struggling today, they are also standing up there, giving me all the encouragement. You can do this, Dad! Don't give up! They are giving me the strength to push. Go, Dad! So, I really love them so much for that. We love you. Love you too, boys. I don't have the time or ingredients to redo the mousse again. The only thing I can think is let the mousse thaw for a while and hopefully I can put the inserts in later. Good job, Dad. Looks like most of the elements are ready. The only concern I have is my mousse this mousse dome needs to be perfect. I might have a good lead, but if one element is not on the plate, I might lose a lot of points. Come on, Sachi! Slowly, slowly, gently, gentle. I demold the first mousse. Oh. oh, no. 
Oh my god. What's happened, Sashi? The moose dome looks still looks a bit uh, soft. I need to put it there as long as I, I can to make it really solid hard before I can push it up. The boost is not set. I need to make sure it is in the blast chiller as long as possible. I really wanted to put all the elements up today without any mistakes. If I don't have the moose ready on time, I'm in trouble. Sashi, Ben, listen up. I'm so nervous. Two minutes to go. Come on. Come, on. Come on, Sashi. Let's hope it's set now. My second try on the moose. I'm very nervous now. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, moose, come on. All the moose is coming out perfectly. <laughs> it's amazing the relief. Final touches! One minute to go! Thanks, Sashi. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Brilliant, Sashi. As you go. Oh, yeah. All right. Prison officer, amateur cook, three-star Michelin dish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. I am blown away yeah. by what Sashi's done. It's so exciting. And he seems to have got all the elements, mm. you know, on yeah. the plate. It looks yeah. pretty damn good. Yeah, so. it looks on there. Shall we? Yeah. Texture of the moose cream looks good. Yeah, it does. You can see the little inserts in there, no? It's very fresh. Like, there's lots of texture to work through. That coconut ice cream is just the texture of it, the consistency of it. That ice cream was which is beautiful. Yeah. And the sponge texture, he really nailed that. Yeah. yeah you know, the other thing I, I love about your dish and I love about this dish is that overwhelming sense of lightness. Everything is so yeah. light. The ice cream is light, the, the sponge is beautifully light. Obviously, that little malt meringue just evaporates yeah. in your mouth. Nine out of ten. <laughs> Sashi, nine out of ten.